Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a drone animated slideshow animation inside of After Effects without using any kind of plugins. Now, this tutorial is highly inspired from the Create Pack which consists of number of different drone animations. So you can check it out. The link will be down in the description. And not only drone animation, actually, they also have notebook animations. If you want to create a promo for your laptop or something like that, tablet animations, desktop animations and number of different things. So I highly recommend you guys to go ahead and check it out. The link will be down in the description. So with that said, I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's call this main scene. And I'm going to keep it 1920 by 1080 30 fps and i'll keep it 10 seconds long hit ok now firstly we will be creating our drone animation so here i have a few assets like a drone image and a propeller video that is the drone propeller video that we will need to you know place it on the top of the drone of of course you can download the project file from the link in the description below it's absolutely free so you can use the same assets and then follow along with this tutorial so yeah here we have our main scene let's create a new composition i'll call this drone and hit ok let's drag and drop in our drone image that we have maybe i'll scale this a bit just like so and i'll place it something like that then we have our propeller video so i'm going to place that on the top just like so for now and then turn on the 3d option and rotate it so i'm just going to rotate it like so maybe something like that just try to adjust it so it fits along with our drone I'll place it something like so and i'll put this behind the drone image so now we have a nice propeller as you can see pretty good maybe i'll need to scale this a bit so i'll just go ahead and scale this like so let's zoom in and place it properly hit r and then you can adjust the rotation again so i'm just going to keep it maybe something like this looks good let's see yep that is looking proper now i can select the layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it and then place it right over here and then may maybe i'll adjust the scaling a bit just a touch and then adjust the rotation as well so trying to match kind of the perspective of the drone just select this using the arrow keys i can just try to be as precise as possible and yeah as you can see this is looking pretty good let's create the same one again so hit ctrl d place it right over here scale this down obviously because it's a bit further than the first propeller and then adjust the rotation so something like that Mm, yep that is actually looking pretty good let's create the last one we're not able to really see the last one but just to you know give it a sense so that it looks pretty realistic yep that is looking great so here we have our drone ready now let's go ahead and animate this so let's go back into our main scene and drag in the drone composition let's scale this down maybe something like 60 should work yep that looks good so let's go ahead and animate this so let's actually try to come up with a nice try to place it actually into a nice position so maybe i'll just adjust the scaling a bit let's keep it 65 that looks better so i'll just place the drone maybe somewhere around here at the final stage so i'll go to one second select the drone composition hit p to bring down the position properties create a keyframe hit r to bring down the rotation properties create a keyframe hit u so we can see both the properties go back at the very beginning 
and then I'll just drag the drone like so out of the frame. So basically we have a simple animation. I'll also add a rotation. So basically it's gonna come up a bit more naturally, Maybe a bit more. So something like that, as you can see, it's a little bit of movement, but it's gonna make it look much more organic. All right, that is looking good. Let's select the keyframes, hit F9 to ease, ease them. Go into the graph editor, right click and select edit speed graph. Let's select this point and drag them to the left just like so. Now let's see what we have. Yep, as you can see, this, are look, this is looking pretty good actually. Maybe I'll increase the time duration a bit to one second and 10 frame. And let's see how it looks. Yep, I think it's a bit too fast. So let's increase the timing a bit more. Like so. Yep, that is looking much better. And also you can turn on the motion blur. So it's gonna make it look much more, you know, better. Now, as you can see, the drone comes up very nicely, but it stands still at the end and we don't really want that. So let's go ahead and add some wiggle expression to the position, rotation and the scale. So firstly, here I have a notepad that I created for to remember my wiggle that I played around with some settings and I it turned out to be that this settings or this numbers works good with the wiggle expression. So in the position, I'm going to hold alt and click on the stopwatch and let's type in a wiggle open and close parentheses and I'm going to go with one and five. So I'll just click right over here. One comma five. All right. I'll copy this up. Hit control C then in the rotation hit control V and all I need to do is change the properties. So let's change the one to 0.5. So the speed is actually going to be 0.5 and the movement is going to be one. So you can see right off the bat is going to look much more as you can see a little bit of movements that looks very nice. Hit S again. Let's control V to copy paste the wiggle expression and then make this point five and make this one. So now we have expression on all the three properties and now let's see how it looks. I think we don't want any wiggle on the scale. So I'm going to remove that from the scale. I'm just going to keep it on position and the rotation. Yeah. So there we have our drone animation ready to roll. Now, if you want, you can increase the, you know, properties of the wiggle expression to give a bit more, you know, heavy movements, but I think this works pretty fine for now. So let's go ahead and add our text. So I'll select the text tool. I'm going to type in the drone. The magic drone actually. So I'm going to type in the magic and drone. For the font, I will be going with integral CF bowl. I'll mention the link down in the description in case if you want to use the same font and I'll place it somewhere around there. Looks pretty good. Let's drop that below our drone. And yeah, actually that is looking pretty cool. Maybe I'll place it somewhere around there and the drone position. I'll bring that a bit up. So I'll just bring this somewhere around there. Okay. Now I'll just change the color of the drone text because why not? It's going to look super cool. Actually, that looks pretty good and I select the drone layer. Let's go ahead and let's go into the effects and preset panel now in this case i like to use the effects console which is again a free after effects script i keep on saying that in every tutorial so you can just download the effects console script as well to add the effects but let's go the traditional way so i'll go ahead and add a drop shadow double click and then increase the distance let's rotate it to bring it in the position so i want it somewhere around there we increase the distance a bit more and then add some nice blur to this. Just a touch. And play around with the intensity if you want to, but I think this looks good. This is gonna give a nice shadow on our text as you can already see. I think the intensity is pretty high, so I'll make that 40%. 
that looks much better also add a nice simple animation on our text but before adding the animation let's also add our small primary text so i'm gonna type in dope motion for this so let's say the company name is dope motion of this drone manufacturer but you can of course use any text that you want i'm gonna just make it look nicer just like so let's hit Control d and add one right over here let's type in design by exports all right let's bring down the size a bit so yeah that is looking good now let's go ahead and animate this text so i'll go into the text properties go into animate and add a position and click right here go into properties and add an opacity bring down the position just like so maybe 90 looks good bring down the opacity go into the range selector and then i'll go to around maybe one second looks good for now let's pull that up to 100 create a keyframe go back and set this to minus 100 go into the advanced properties change the shape from square to ramp up and increase the easy high and ease low so we have a nice animation as you can see for our text but i like to keep this at words so now let's see what we have so yeah that is looking pretty nice you can of course add a different text animation if you want but i like this one so i'll go right here maybe let's add a small scale animation as well so hit s create a keyframe on the scale go right over here let's scale that down by 10 percent so 90 looks good let's select this hit f9 go into the graph editor and try to create a nice peak into the center so i'll just go something like that maybe a bit more oh maybe a bit more intense yep that looks much better let's preview this and yeah that is actually looking very nice and i can of course apply the same animation by just copying the animator so what i'll do is i'll copy the animator hit ctrl c to copy that select the other two text ctrl v to paste that up hit u so you can see the keyframes and let's actually drag this keyframes a bit forward there we go so yeah that is looking pretty great for our text as well also one more last thing that you can do is add an image at the background if you don't want this plain background what you can do is let's create a new composition call this media underscore oh one hit ok let's place it like that go into the main scene place it just like so and bring down the opacity very low like something like 24 percent also let's add a background so hit ctrl y to create a new solid and add a black background hit ok put that put that at the back and there we go just simple nice opacity animation to our background so let's zero and that there you have your nice drone animated um, slideshow now i think the wiggle is not looking that great i don't know why but let's try to fix that so let's go into drone hit p and i'll in increase the intensity actually so let's bring that up to two let's see actually i'm gonna just solo this up turn off the motion blur for now and let's increase this one the movement to 10. i think two is a bit too much so let's make it one again 
yeah that is looking the best wiggle i have ever seen <laughs> so yeah i think that is pretty much it for creating a nice drone animated slideshow you can of course use any other object or any other drone image if you want to and if you want to use the same exact image and footage you can download it from the link in the description below also if you don't have time to create this complete animation and if you want different kind of drones you can check out the create pack as i told you guys this tutorial was inspired from this pack they have some amazing and cool looking drone animated slideshow as you can see they also have some simple drone animations so you can use them and create your own different slideshow so using them is also very easy what actually you can do is maybe i can add a simple nice drone instead of using this one i can just click on add to add a new drone right let's hide our drone for now you get a nice drone and the best part is that you get all the controls of this drone so if you if you jump into the properties you can go into control settings you can see you can increase the scaling you can play around with the speed resistance so if you want to increase the speed you can do that as well if you want to keep it very subtle you can do that as you can see you can also increase the wind power so you know it's going to affect the complete animation of the drone which i think it's absolutely great you get some nice control to tweak the settings and you can use it of course in your projects so yeah that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this drone slideshow tutorial and if you did then please do make sure to subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out